additional turn, Copy. two turns total on M20. With that, Koichi, you can drive M19 to torque, expecting 10 and a half to 11 additional turns, looking for green light and torque readings. Copy that, Steve, work. 10 foot five to 11 turns on M19. Good, read back. Duke, for you, you'll remove the short wire tie, securing the one alpha right IROSA cables to the mounting bracket and stow them in your trash bag if they were used. And then you'll release the long wire okay, tie on the back. cables. Copy. Okay, I'm gonna release this on Duke. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here you go. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's released. Duke, take the picture. Down. When you're ready to egress that APFR, we'll have you roll to access the left side. Okay, I'm egress, and I'll just go to check the roll now. Perfect. This is going to be roll of hotel. Uh, Kalika, if you come down, you're, uh, you're safe, you said, I think my feet tangled on my leg, so we need to take a look at that. Okay, let me check that. I come down, I will take a look. Yep. Oh, no, it's a spot for your distance. Looks like okay. it's clear. Nice work. Okay, hotel is set. Copy. And I think now is a good time to work on the BRT. Are you ready to do this? I'm just getting this on my BRT here. Okay, okay I'm on my BRT. All right, uh, look. Okay, uh, look, it's coming okay. from your right side. I see it? Can you see it? Yeah, almost got it. Okay. Okay, I have the control. Oh, you have the control. Right upper, okay. And yeah, you can so finish walk, putting um, that MLI back that you took off there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Then I was all right mid. Are you gonna want that MLI over the color boat? Yes, Duke, we will want the MLI over those collar bolts as well. Okay, Kaliki, I'm right beneath you. Okay. Copy that. All right. And, um, your pattern is above me right now, so okay. Let me uh, finish this up, and then I'll translate down so that I can be clear. I need to, um, I don't want to crisscross with you. I just need to grab this BRGT and this um, okay. ratchet, and then I'm going to be outboard of, or inboard of you. So. Okay. I will stay here then until you clear. Okay. Okay. It's collapsed and folded down. Copy, Duke. And Koichi, just... Trend yourself toward the mass canister so you're not translating on that mod kit. Copy that. Hey, Creek, am I clear your safety center? Yes, you are. Okay. I should have my, I have my lace tether and then I safety tether. Is those good? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a local, so I'll remove that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay. a local. Okay, here, okay, now, let's, uh, be clear this, uh, safety tether around your BRT, uh, the cable bag. Now it should be clear. It's a judgment up to you guys, but if it helps, you can put down a waist tether, lock the hook black on black, and undo the anchor hook in order to clear any snags that you're seeing. Okay, I'm going to yeah. do that. Okay. So okay. I have my waist tether down to the end rail. Thank you. 
and just make sure it's locked. I see it. I'm really seeing my anchor. Copy, Chief. Okay. I'm really seeing my anchor hook. Now a good view of the airlock. Uh, that's ast NASA astronaut Nicole Mann making her way into the airlock after getting a go to do so. Very shortly we'll be seeing Koichi Wakata who will be taking up the rear and exiting or entering the crew lock last. First in the hatch is uh, NASA astronaut Nicole Mann, who took on the EV-2 position for today. She was the first in the hatch at the conclusion of today's spacewalk. Cassida and Rubio as the suit IVs. They're the ones responsible for getting both of the astronauts uh, situated so they can start doffing or taking off their suits. Houston on one, uh, EV crew is no longer hot mic. Meanwhile, Koichi Wakata, you can see, is still in the crew lock. He is patiently waiting his turn um, until he'll be going on the right side from this view across from uh, where Nicole Mann is situated now. You can also see that long bag that they towed all the way out to and from the work site. Inside that bag is that mid-strut that will be uh, taken out on a future spacewalk to finish the installation of... Uh, the modification kit uh, that's on the 1A power channel. and so they document uh, after the spacewalk the condition of the glove so we'll see we might see some of the some photos of the gloves but it looks like for now they're stowing them in the various locations I think the priority here is really get the crew nice and comfortable now that they've uh, conducted the spacewalk uh, allow their fingers to be free